lot of you guys probably heard of the Tiger Stop fence positioning system. Automatic fence positioning system to help you get accurate cuts and great repeatability. I wanted to try to replicate the original one. I have some salvage parts laying around and the only thing I had to buy was the driver board for, for the computer. To have a system like this in private is really overkill but I had all the parts and just wanted to see if it was possible to do and um, I think it came out great. The system is servo motor driven and uh, that meaning um, we also get feedback so it's a closed loop system so no matter how hard you bang the fence of course within reason uh, I will always try to fight back and keep the position and that makes repeatability very very accurate so let's make some cuts and uh, see how it works. I just had to make my own logo version and add some humor into it. The first thing I always do is start homing the system to reference it. And how it works is that you enter the length of the piece you want to cut. So if I want 550 millimeters. Press start and the fence moves. If I want 378 press start it moves. If you're not happy with uh, with the length of the uh, with the length of the piece if you want to make the piece just a little bit shorter you can nudge it by choosing step and the increments one millimeter or 0 0.1 millimeter so if I press 0 0.1 millimeter and you'll see it's 377.99 which was pretty close and I press this and if I want to use the miter saw just to cut some random pieces to get the fence out of the way I just press the park button. If you have multiple parts with a known measurement it's a lot easier just to put it in a list instead of entering all the, the separate parts. So you just make a list in any known text editor like notepad put in your measurements and start cutting. I'll give you an example. Press load cut list in this case let's do the Adirondack. And here you get all the dimensions 345, 688, 710 and so on. Press use cut list and press next cut. It moves to 345 at least very close. Next dimension should be 688. Next cut, make the cut. Next cut, 710. Make the amount of cuts you want. Next position, 1105. Make your cuts. 522. And so on. And when you're done, switch it off and go back to regular mode. If you by any means want to edit the cut list, you're also able to modify or enter the dimensions that you want to add. And if anything should by any means not work as intended, it's always the stop button. So it's the line stop. Let's make some cuts. First let's do some simple lengths. 250 millimeters. Put it up against the fence. Put 
Let's make the next cut. Let's make it 311. And you can try to slam it up again. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so let's check these pieces. That's pretty dead on. I would say that's close enough. See that it always fights against, tries to stay in position. Let's take a look inside. This is the homing switch. Timing belt pulleys with a bearing at the bottom and at the top. With the shaft on the drive side, there's a shaft going through to the servo motor on the other side. This is how it looks underneath. And inside the cabinet is the old laptop and the servo drive. All in all, I'm really pleased how this turned out. Both the looks of it and the functionality. And um, the only thing I have invested in it is a lot of hours screen designing and building it but that's the fun part so I also want to show you guys something else I got a package in the mail the other day and it was from Tyler G he sent me a sticker DIY Tyler along with a couple of pencils also with his brand on it and like this a scene on YouTube how cool is that he went through the trouble, international shipping and everything. Thanks a lot, Ty. Until next time, have a great day.